Good evening everybody, hello again, your host is Haysam Ali, I'm an aviation technical instructor. In this short minute we will discuss FADIC or FADIC. What is FADIC? It is a full authority digital engine control. Nowadays gas turbine engine is electronically or electrically controlled by a computer. This computer always located on the engine. And this computer will have full authority on engine control. Full authority on engine control. This engine, this control is a digital control. It is a digital control. So FADIC is a new way of engine control or uh, advanced and the technological way of engine control. The FADIC philosophy is supersede the old hydromechanical way of control. The old gas turbine engine was controlled hydromechanically or mechanically it's called i think it was called mech which is uh, like mechanical control mechanical control so the old style was hydromechanical fcu has now been mostly superseded by full authority digital engine control which is called the fadic or fadic you can find FADIC on most of the modern Airbus aircraft, like the Airbus A320, 30 and 40, on the new engines. So FADIC is a new engine or advanced technological electronic engine control. So FADIC is the engine philosophy uh, uh, for control. FADIC is the term used for the total system. So what is the total system? It is the electronic engine control, which is the computer of the engine, plus its peripherals. The computer needs some peripherals to control the engine, like the fuel metering unit, engine sensors, actuators for operating the, for example, the compressor air flow control system and the turbine clearance control system and electrical wiring the harnesses fan electrical wires and core electrical wires that connect uh, uh, for example the sensors and give this measurement measured by the sensors to the computer which is the electronic engine controller electronic engine controller so you can say that FADIC is equal the electronic controller, which is the engine computer, plus its peripherals. The peripherals is engine systems and engine sensors. Engine system, like the fuel metering unit for fuel control, uh, thrust reverser system, heat management system, many systems and sensors of the engine. Okay? So, FADIC units are duplicated and have at least two channels of communication for redundancy. So each electronic engine controller of the engine, of the gas turbine engine, actually is a dual channel computer, like channel A and channel B. This is for redundancy, as if one channel fail, the other channel can control the engine. Okay? So again, FADIC units are duplicated and they have at least two channels of communication. This is for redundancy. And each channel have their own power supply. So how the FADIC is mostly powered? How the FADIC is mostly powered? FADIC can be powered from the aircraft electrical network this is before the engine starting, like for starting. And then when the engine started, there is probably a permanent magnet generator or alternator driven by the engine gearbox. Because the en engine now is running, so the uh, one of the components on the gearbox will be called permanent magnet alternator or generator will power the engine computer, the electronic engine controller each channel channel a and b will be powered from this permanent magnet generator or alternator okay 
let's move on. So in a FADIC system, the FCU is replaced by an electronic engine controller. Okay, so in the old way of engine control, there was an FCU. Now we have an electronic engine, electronic engine controller, which is the computer or EEC, and a fuel metering unit, and a fuel metering unit. This is one of the uh, systems of the of the engine for uh, fuel management and fuel measuring fuel uh, uh, pressure racing and shut off over speed protection okay so the eec or electronic engine controller is a digital computer which senses a wide variety of engine and aircraft parameters and sends control command to the fuel metering unit fuel metering unit so in the old aircraft engines there was a fuel control unit fcu but now we have a fuel metering unit fuel metering unit so the input from the throttle is not a mechanical linkage the input from the throttle is not a mechanical linkage the throttle control uh, levers or throttle levers uh, was uh, in the old engine mechanically connected to the engine but now the input from the throttle is not a mechanical linkage it's like a digital control yes under the throttle lever there are an artificial field unit which is probably a mechanical unit then there is a resolvers to convert the mechanical input from the pilot into uh, a throttle resolver angles digitally transferred to the electronic engine controller or the engine computer. So the throttle lever angle is converted to electrical signals now in the throttle control unit. Throttle control units have resolvers to convert the mechanical movement of the throttle lever into an electrical signal or digital signals. And this digital signal then transmitted to the EEC or electronic engine controller each channel to each channel. So in the electronic engine computer, all inputs and output data is checked by both channels. So both channels are permanently operated. Both channels of the FADIC, channel A and channel B, are permanently operated. This is for redundancy. And what about the fuel metering unit? Fuel metering unit is part of the engine systems to regulate fuel flow for fuel management, over speed protection, and the pressure racing and the shutoff function. So the fuel metering unit regulates high pressure bump output pressure to deliver the correct amount of fuel to the engine to deliver the correct amount of fuel to the engine. So the FMU is part of the FADIC system, part of the FADIC system. Okay, perfect. The EEC also send control commands to the engine's airflow control system to prevent the compressor stall and surge. So this is one of the important function of the FADIC system. Because, you know, uh, gas turbine engine compressors may suffer from stall and surge. Stall and surge. Stall is a local phenomena. This is when uh, the air is stalling on a single stage or maybe uh, double or triple stages. But when the problem is uh, alleviated or when the problem is uh, becoming more dangerous, the whole compressor may surge. So the EEC or electronic engine controller also sends control commands to the engines, airflow control systems. This is to prevent compressor stall and surge. And also this is to improve efficiency. Also, FADIC systems are single fault tolerant, where a single input data failure will not affect the normal operation of the engine.
there is a redundancy. There is a redundancy. So if we need to speak about the major functions of the FADIC system, we can say that they are automatic starting. FADIC can operate or start the engine automatically. Idle, acceleration and deceleration scheduling. Fuel flow control for automatic thrust setting, computations. What else? Fuel flow control for manual power settings. To maintain sufficient high pressure pump output at low RBM to power the fuel metering units, internal components, fuel shutoff when commanded by the pilot or the EEC, over speed protection, over temperature protection, controlling compressor airflow using inlet guide vanes, variable stator vanes and the bleed valves, ensuring manifold fuel draining on shutdown and returning excess fuel to the tanks, and active clearance control for the turbine. Active clearance control for the turbine. So this was the functions of the FADIC system. This was a small lecture regarding FADIC, which is the uh, new engine control technology on the nowadays gas turbine engines. This was the FADIC lecture. Thank you for your good listening and uh, please stay tuned for an upcoming sessions like this to discuss aircraft general knowledge, to discuss aircraft general knowledge. Thank you and goodbye.